What is to be done? What's wrong, Mr. Hamid? <sighs> it is my old sign. People see that it is gray and ugly, and they think my silk must be the same. Oh, I love to paint. Let me fix it for you. That would be wonderful. What a magical young woman you are. Believe me, you have no idea. If at all possible, my dear wife loves the color pink very much. If you have any paint of that color, please use it on my sign. Like your new sign, Mr. Hamid? Oh! You used the pink! That is quite stunning! Yes, yes, this will attract lots of attention. Thank you, my dear. Now that you have helped me, I should like to return the favor. Please take your pick from these silks and use them for your lantern tonight. Thank you, Mr. Hamid. Well, that's very kind of you. a lantern may find them at the mark. There will be a prize for the best. Thank you. 
almost done. You and me working together, well, that kind of works. has still not been recovered. Critics called for an investigation of the captain of the guard, who responded with a swift smack of his glove. The critics have offered no further comment.
close to me. Cross Blondie? Take my hand. If you don't discipline your children, they'll grow up to be criminals, like that Flynn Rider. Oh, it's just like my rutabagas. Why does everything always come back to your rutabagas? Stop everything. I smell something shiny. Every day, bringing people here from all over the world. Someday, I'd like to sail past the horizon and see what's out there. Sea monsters, mostly. Kidding! I can get across. Excuse me! 
with the long hair. Oh, hello, girls. Careful, Blondie. They look very dangerous. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. What's on your mind? Oh, you just have to help us. We're practicing to be royal ladies in waiting. The ones who help the queen do her hair every day. And we saw that you have... You have a lot of hair. Can we braid it? Please? Pretty please? Please, can we? With sugar on top? Well, I'd love for you to. Yay! Your hair looks amazing. Splendiferous! Incredulous! Oh, girls, it's perfect. Thank you. Hey, our lanterns. I'll never forget that night. Me neither. Then I gave you back your satchel. I should have given it to you before, but I was just scared. And the thing is, I wasn't scared anymore. And you understood. Yeah, I did. But I had to go. I didn't understand that. We were having such a wonderful time. Then you left. I know, but there was something I had to take care of, and then I was going to come right back. Mother Gothel found me, and it seemed like she'd been right all along. I couldn't believe it. You took the crown, got a boat, and sailed away from me. Mother said the only place I could be safe was with her. I thought she was right, that I'd never see you again. What was the point of this silly journal, anyway? Why would I want to remember? Now hold on just a minute. That's not the whole story. They tricked us both. I never took a boat. I was double-crossed and thrown in jail. Oh, come on. Duh. I'm not half the artist she is. Max saw the whole thing. He knew you were in danger and he went to get help. The thugs helped me escape and thanks to Max, I came to help you. Hold on, Blondie. We're on our way. When I got back to my room, I looked at my paintings. They had new meaning now. Visiting the kingdom changed everything. Finally, I understood. The lanterns that appear only on my birthday? I'm the lost princess. Mother Gothel kidnapped me so she could use my hair. And she'd do anything to keep me with her. And this is where I come in. You cannot keep me here forever, Mother. Oh, but I absolutely can, my little flower. Think how easy it was for me to find you and persuade you to return from your little jaunt to town. It doesn't matter. You'll never trick me again. I used to think you knew everything. But now I know you were wrong about the world, and you were wrong about me, and you will never use my hair again. You want me to be the bad guy? <laughs> Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> At least try to defend yourself.
Hansel, look out! <laughs> Silly girl. way to treat your mother together you're stronger than I thought She's gone. Finally. Everything's different now. I feel something I've... never felt before. Not really, not truly. I mean, for the first time I feel... <gasps> free! You earned it, Rapunzel. I couldn't have done it without you. Can you imagine finding out your mother and father are the queen and king? I'm still getting used to the idea. And I'm still kind of nervous. But they love me, and they've missed me so much. My parents just decreed a new festival, and now the whole village is celebrating. <sighs> Woo! Yay, Flynn Rider! Oh, and Rapunzel, too! <laughs> What's that? Confetti. From where? I had some left over in my pockets. Flynn! Let's take a ride around the village to celebrate before we decide what to do next. Well, I was thinking, live happily ever after. That sounds all right, but only after I beat you in a race. <laughs> Short hair feels so strange. On my neck? Is that normal? Whoa, my head feels so light. Ha ha ha! That doesn't make any sense! <laughs> 